Arthur is a four-year-old Breton who was sent to us from France because he was frightened of heavy traffic and had tried to run away, even when driven with an experienced horse beside him. Other films showing the work we have done with him can be seen on our YouTube channel, and here we have taken him downtown and put Sam on the reins to show that she can control him in a rubber bit in heavy, fast-moving traffic. Obviously we cannot drive on the wrong side of the road here, but we can do our best to recreate the environment he will be driving in at home, i.e. on the right-hand side of the road, with traffic approaching and passing on his left. We have also tucked the carriage behind this road sign, which means lorries will not spot us and slow down as they approach. This allows us to show that Arthur is happy with large lorries and other traffic passing him at speed, which can often be frightening to a horse due to the increased noise, movement and rush of air that accompanies them. We have asked Sam to hold the reins up loose and put her feet up on the rein rail. This is to show that she does not have any brakes on and is not hanging on to Arthur to get him to stand still. We have put Arthur as a pair to allow Rowley to share some of the load getting into town, which enables Arthur to be fresh and full of energy when he sees the traffic. Exposing him to vehicles under this circumstance is a good test, because it proves that he will still listen to us even when he is full of beans. Bear in mind as well that a horse of Arthur's body weight would simply knock Rowley off his feet should he choose to jump sideways if he wanted to shy at a lorry. Therefore he is free to spook or plunge forward should he wish to, but we know that he won't because he is not afraid of the traffic. In olden days, horses were often expected to stand still with no groom at their head and no driver on the reins either. The roads in cities were often busier than this road here, if not just with motorised vehicles, which were noisier than today's electric cars, for example, then with other turnouts passing them at speed as well, which, as no doubt some people will appreciate, can be more exciting and unsettling for a horse than lorries. It is only the standards of horsemanship that have changed, so here we are showing that Arthur will stand still with no groom at his head, and while Sam has her hands off the reins too. You can sometimes see at events drivers holding the reins between their knees while they adjust their coats, for example, foreign-hand driver often crouches down and pats his wheeler's quarters from the carriage after a round, and logging horses often pull noisy loads with no driver on the reins, with their handler walking beside them. So we are showing here that we are confident in the work we have done with Arthur, and his confidence in us as well, that he will stand still happily in such an environment. Although all horses that come to us for training are taught to cope happily with traffic passing on their inside, with horses that come from abroad, or will be sent to a foreign country when they finish their training, it is especially important to prepare them for being driven on the other side of the road. Just as a riding horse can be upset by someone mounting from the wrong side, so a driving horse can be upset by seeing traffic where they are not accustomed to it. In Arthur's case, it is no good simply getting him used to traffic passing on his right-hand side, as it does in the UK, but we also have to teach him not to be frightened of traffic passing on his left side, hence why we have spent some time on this side of the road, facing in this direction. Even if Arthur was remaining in the UK to be driven, he might still be asked to overtake a parked lorry, which would then be on his near side. You can see how he copes with this as a single horse on his other film. We have also put Sam on the reins to give Arthur's owner confidence that he can be driven and controlled by another driver, and by someone who has less experience than Barry. Although Arthur's driver is a gentleman, it shows that Arthur does not require a strong pair of forearms to control him in traffic. We have also put Sam on the carriage by herself, which shows she is not relying on a groom to help haul on the reins, or jump down and get to his head. Although it is always a good idea to have an extra pair of hands with you on a carriage, sometimes the groom may not be of any use. So again, to show that we have confidence that Arthur will behave himself with Sam, we have asked her to take him out by herself. He is being driven in a soft rubber bit, a simple snaffle, which shows that we are not using the leverage of a curb bit in order to control him. With these bits, a small amount of pressure applied on the reins is magnified in the horse's mouth, and so gets the desired response, even with the driver using only a little bit of pressure. With our snaffles, there is no curb chain and no extra setting for the reins in order to increase their severity. Therefore, this shows that we have confidence in the training we have done with Arthur, that Sam can control him and drive him safely, confidently and happily in heavy traffic by herself. 
Arthur will now go back home to be driven by his owner in France.